Welcome to JDA Training on Suspected Unapproved Parts. Any corporate operator, air carrier, manufacturer, repair station, and supplier that is involved in the procurement, management, inspection, distribution, and approval of parts and components within the aviation supply chain and can be a direct link to prevent a SUP from being installed in an aircraft engine or system should attend SUPS training. Upon completing this online training, you will have the knowledge to describe processes leading to part being eligible for installation on type certificated products. Identify SUPs and improperly maintained parts. Implement SUP program policy and activities during routine and evaluation activities. Conduct SUP inspections that satisfy safety and certificate protections. How does SUPs training work? You can take a break and leave any time before the final examination. When you need to leave your training, click on the exit button at the top right of your screen. Your progression will be saved. You can log in any time thereafter. You can, of course, contact us for any questions. The seriousness of the increasing use of bogus parts in the repair, overhaul, and maintenance of aircraft has accentuated the need for a program to preclude the use of questionable parts in an effort to eliminate the possibility of accidents. When do you think that was written? A lot of people were thinking because the FAA established the SUP program office on November 13, 1995, that it was written in 1995. It is actually a quote from the U.S. Civil Aeronautics Administration Safety Release number 406 in 1956. Not new and not discovered in 1995. So, Mr. Instructor, you're telling me that since 1956, aviation has been dealing with unapproved parts? Yes, this was an indication that SUPs have been in the aviation system since 1956. When the first SUP program office opened, the FAA took a deeper dive and it was determined that there was another safety release issued by the CAA in 1954, but the FAA was unable to produce a copy. So 1956 was used as the base year that the SUP program surfaced. In 1958, the CAA transitioned to the FAA and they established the Parts Manufacturer Approval, or PMA, program in 1958 to try and combat bogus parts, which has been a concern for 60 years.